but you just bought Snap. Yeah. Tell me why. It's a yeah. very interesting move to make now, given the stock is up nearly 100 percent, nearly a double in just three months. Yeah. I'm the only schmuck who talks up a stock and then buys it after. So uh, it's it's about seventeen dollars. This was a stock that uh, not that long ago was seventy five dollars a share. If you look at the history of this name, the volatility has just been absolutely off the charts and with good reason. It's a non profitable company. They've gotten very good at building a sticky user base. They have more users than, than uh, X. And X was taken off the market for like almost $50 billion. But they've never been able to make money. Uh, after the IPO in 2017, the stock fell 40 percent. It fell 60, 62 percent the next year. Then in 2019, it rallied 200 percent. In 2020, it went up another 200 percent. Then down six, then down 81 percent last year. This year, year to date, it's up 85. So that's what I mean. This is one of the most wild rides I have ever seen, even in tech stocks. That being said, there's something happening here fundamentally. There is a momentum for Snapchat Plus that I think is now undeniable. They had three million users this spring. All of a sudden, it's at seven million users. Three Wall Street firms have upgraded it in the last week because they're starting to understand, yes, the advertising business will come back. But while we wait for that recovery globally, there's an internal business at Snap that has caught fire. It's gone viral. A lot of it has to do with the way they're using AI. And then a lot of it has to do with just good old fashioned mining for what the users actually want out of features and what they're willing to pay for. So Snap's got all these new features that are only available for plus users. I know for our audience, it's not important to them. If you're 16, you live and die based on having access to this. They have 400 million daily active users. It is a massive user base. And that user base is growing despite the fact they haven't figured out how to make money yet. Mm -hmm. I think they're now in the early stages of really monetizing. I wouldn't be surprised to see the stock into the mid-20s at some point this year.